big landslip that we had, I, I thought there were some small um, areas right down the very bottom of, the, of it that seemed to be a little bit more vulnerable. And I think um, they moved when it, after we had the earth tremor and then the resultant 50 mils of rain straight after. Um, everything was that saturated that I think the, the base of the landslips moved in small areas and then the higher bits just sort of collapsed on top of it afterwards. The good stuff at the top of the hill had nowhere else to go but to fall down. I, I definitely think it loosened things up a bit. It just shook things around and because it had been so wet before and afterwards, it all just, everything put together, just sort of created the, you know, the, the landslip that we got. Possibly the small wet areas right down the bottom, if they had some trees on it that were huge, possibly it might have stopped it but I, I do think that landslips are sort of something that you've got to put up with um, there is no perfect solution for them you know like there are there are some areas that we've got that are too steep that should never have had the trees taken off them and there are other bits that there's nothing wrong with but it's just structures under the soil that are a little bit dodgy the plates or, or whatever it is don't align and they're more vulnerable to landslips it's some of it we've got to live with some of it you can you know plan and do something f for it like planting trees but you need uh, you, you sort of need a, f a few dry years probably 10 years to get the trees established so that you know nothing moves and they've got a really good hold on the soil and sometimes you just don't know where those areas are. We had one um, area that had landslips had a really big soak running through it and we had a bulldozer in planted a crop on it and then leveled it all out and then fenced off an area afterwards and planted trees on it and th through the drought years that we had there was probably 10 years of less than average rainfall and the trees grew really well and this last winter it was the only what I thought was a known landslip area that didn't move and you know the stars aligned I suppose that I had everything in place yeah. and yeah it worked fine but not everything works like that all the time. We had one steep gully I planted trees there two years ago and there was true we planted them at the base of the hill where it was all to run and because they weren't big enough the slip just took them straight down into the creek like where we have that really big slip that we were talking about before there on the side of it there's some trees that i planted three four years ago and it just moved them down the hill didn't make any difference whatsoever they've got to be big clumps huge trees and then you can hope that it'll hold them. It's hard, you, you're trying to get a balance between working the farm the way that you think it can work and you know, making money so we can survive and trying to look after the environment as well. I, I don't think we've got a perfect match for it all. It, it just doesn't seem to be, you know, if we tree up everywhere that we think may be a landslip area, well then you can't make any income. So you, you try your best, but nothing's perfect, you know, and yeah, you just do the best you can. That, that big one, yeah, the unlimited cash supply, yeah, <laughs> no problems at all. Like, because it's got a, a track running through it and a boundary fence running through it, you would probably level it out first, uh, plant some trees down in the wet areas to try and stabilise everything um, and then you would pr probably plant trees up at the top to hold the, the main bank to stop it eroding away and you'd probably still just hope for the best like really if you had uh, you know two or three wet winters afterwards there's no guarantees that it's not going to move anyway. 
what I want to do, if I can get some money to do it, is to, to level it out and let it sit for 12 months and just see what happens. You know, there's no guarantees that another wet year and it might keep moving again and all the work that you've put in the previous year just, you know, goes down the creek. I levelled out one landslip there 10, 15 years ago and I thought, yeah, this is all. I even experimented with some slotted pipe and dr put drainage in it. I thought, well, we'll see how this goes. And this year the whole thing has just rippled up and just made a mess again. So, you know, and it was... It was an obvious area where a landslip is because it's always sort of a bit wobbly. But from a farm point of view, it really grows some fantastic grass. Yes. And you're trying to go halfway. You're trying to make a dollar because it's flat as well. Yeah. And in the hills here, you don't get that much flat stuff. So you try and make the most of it. You know? And yeah, it hasn't worked out. I'm not really sure what's the best way of tackling that one either. So you just do the best you can.